Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, what's good? YouTube, my YouTube aliens, my Twitch thoughts, my fellow Negroes, my fellow Caucasians, everything else yonder, my fellow Hispanic brothers, my homies out in Germany, my homies out in shit. Where the hell is that? Oh, I can't even think of it right now. Robert. Robert. Anyway. What's good, man? Don't mind me. I'm just over here snagging. But if I'm crunching in the mic, my bad. But yeah, man. I just want to put out another video. I ain't been saying much. Ninja's been doing too much. But uh, no. Nah. All trolling and BS aside, I just want to thank everybody. Thank you. Thank y'all. Thank the small community that we have that support Beaver, that support Sirius Dallas, Base the Jeep, his community. Everybody, man, like, appreciate y'all just for hearing, you know, the bullshit trolls on top of the real, you know, truth that we be actually telling informing speaking about things that have been researched upon and yeah man y'all y'all the real ones like for real it's like just long story short it's up to us and i don't mean just like us four immediately like me series dallas ajit ali that's five actually but um no everybody like our small community it's up to us if um we actually want to, how can I say this, make a difference, make a change, stand up for something, at least be vocal about it. Now, whether it changes anything, it probably won't, but you know what, damn it, let's make some fucking ruckus. Let's make a ruckus, man. Shout out to Gilmore. Gilmore. I watched homies videos way before. Shit. I think it was before I met Sears. I don't even know if homie was like. Was watching his videos but. Yeah. Mugs are tuned in. It's nice to see. To be on Twitter. And you, you can scroll. And you just see like. People. Finally are like reiterating things that. We've spoken about the patents, the algorithm, how this shit is nerfing you or changing things in real time. Like, dog, at least we're getting to the point where it's being acknowledged. Thank you, God. Thank you, hacker hunters. Even though we're not hacker hunters, I mean, shit. Let's just call it, what is it, spade is spade. By us fucking saying the shit that we did, got everybody started reporting on the bullshit that's happening in these games. Hey, this is what has came from it. We didn't ask niggas to put on a cape and try to become hacker hunters. I mean, shit. Is what it is, I guess. The more people that, hey, like I said, the more people that talk about it, bring shit to light, bullshit, exploits, hacks, unlock tools, you name it, the better. Now, the real question is, well, let me turn my mic down, it should look like it's a little loud. The real question is, what is Demonware, Activision, Sledgehammer, Treyarch? Activision, if I said them already, I don't even know. What are they going to do about this shit, bro? Because it seems like there is no flow control with this shit. Now, just scrolling on the internet. I'm just talking right now, but just scrolling on the internet. I go through. Uh, I see Call of Shame's video. And uh, he was talking about one of the 
I don't know how you said her name. Baca. Baca bros. One of these niggas, little niggas fucking in their studio, in their office, testing Warzone 2 in a controlled environment, and is literally exploiting the game in front of these niggas. It would be one thing to be like, hey, yo, hey, we're going to have to fix this when, you know, when the real game comes out, you know, if he pulled them to the side, but I mean, I don't know the full, hey, I don't know the full thing. I didn't see the full actual video if dude did that or not if you pull one of them to the side like hey we gotta fix this but what i did see was even well let me not say what i saw what was in the video that mr shame put out which i think was a good video homie kept doing the exploits manipulating what's going on in the game Probably pissing off other people. He kept doing it even after Activision or whoever, whatever studio. I don't know. There's so many goddamn studios working on these stupid ass games. Whatever studio he was in, they asked him to stop or leave the game. And he didn't. Continued to exploit. Now, what came in that situation? I have no idea. I don't care. Other than shit in these games need to be addressed and need to be fixed. These patents, these algorithms, this SBMM, all of this bullshit needs to die. Immediately. Die. You have taken the fun factor out of these games. You've upped the price by $10. The base price. For a base edition of the game, I might add. You up the price, like I said. You fucking inject all these fucking new algorithms and codes into these games. You do the hidden MMR. You don't show the scoreboard. Or, no, let me take that back. You show the scoreboard. You don't show KD. There's no... There's no... Fucking, sorry, right, it's the leaderboard grime. There's no leaderboard. You can't fucking check your rank, your kills, your KD. You can't check shit. So what the fuck you think people really want to get on this game for? Other than to shoot their gun. Yeah, have fun with their friends if if that's even possible. I mean, for, for what I've seen, it's kind of hard for some, especially if the skill variance is different among friends. Hell. I go invite one of my buddies that just moved all the way out to fucking Florida. Have him come play. Ping is not even the issue anymore. Because I'm on fiber. Ping is not even the fucking issue. Now, I don't even want to say it, but I mean, I bring him in my lobbies. SBMM kicks in. He is not having fun. Not having fun. I'm not having fun either. I may do good in the match, but I don't care. I'm just I'm just playing pubs just for the fuck of it. Because, one, we're, niggas out here are supposed to be competing. We're supposed to be competing. How the fuck are we supposed to compete if the same damn shit that was probably, not even probably, that is going on in Halo is going on in Call of Duty? To, and to what extent? We have no. We don't know. We don't know. Like, what the fuck are we supposed to do, dog? Like, we just want to compete on a fucking even playing field. The playing field. Like, legit equipment checks for fucking everything. Now, we haven't been to a COD event. I don't even know if we're going to go to this first one. But God damn it, dog. This is something, I, I gotta be for real, like, this is something, the reason why people like us have not stopped playing COD, because this is something that is near and dear, true to our heart. We probably played this game growing up. It was probably through the prime of our teen years, our teen years, the good parts of our teen years, you know, fucking making new friends, 
fucking pissing in sports, fucking shitting on everybody. Then you go play a game, and you're shitting on people in this game. The game played good. There was the games back then were fucking broken, but guess what? Even though they were broken, it was still fun. Why is it that these new games are missing the the fun factor? You know what I mean? And even on the the older games, man, like the movement, all this extra shit, like the movement was burger back then. I mean, the, all you could do is fucking drop shot and jump shot, bunny hop, b hop, whatever you want to call it. Like, but the thing is, you can control your player. You can control your aim. There wasn't no dead zones. There wasn't no trigger dead zones. It was simple, straight to the point. Set your fucking sensitivity. Choose your fucking class or your loadout, whatever you want to fucking make. Unlock attachments, which there wasn't a million attachments. And go fucking shoot your gun. Go shoot some fucking new tubes. Blow up some cars. Fucking nade somebody from across the map. What? I mean, like, dude. This is the only reason, like, we haven't stopped playing, though. Like, we truly love the game. And people like us, similar to us. Or could have objecting opinions. There's still some about the game, at least if they played the OGs, that they appreciate. They appreciate the older games, but now the newer games, not so much. You did all these little minute changes to the movement, the controllability of your player. Just all the the timing from I'm talking about it's small minute things the transition of you jumping and aiming in to shoot the just ADS in general fuck sprinting in general now you got double time tax sprint like why do you need a sprint on top of a sprint nigga you're the full sprint or you're not sprinting or you're jogging I guess you gonna add that into the game next? Oh yeah, why don't you just tell your player double click the joystick to jog. Auto run. Like, come on man, like it's not needed. But yeah, man, like we're not gonna give up. At least not yet. And not now. But oh no, we just to my supporters, my fans. The fans of the Beaver, fans of the Punjabi, or the fucking Red Pill Nation, whatever fucking shit Ajit got going. Like, bro, like, fans of Dallas, and of course fans of Sirius, and Ali, like, man, we we just got, we got to stick together. That's all I can say, man. We got to stick together, and, you know, we we got to have our own community. Communitas. Because ain't, no, ain't nobody like. Come on, let's be for real. They see people like us. They think we're a certain type of way. Probably because only what they hear or see on the internet. But you know what? When when, it, when it's live, when it's in person. Oh, uh, people find out. Oh, man, these dudes are actually kind of cool. Oh, man. Holy shit. They're real people. Yeah, dog. Like, what do you mean? Fucking go in at 6.30 or 7 o'clock and fucking work till fucking 4.30, 5 o'clock. Like, nigga, fucking I work hard. I fucking go to work and I come home. I fucking make a random video and fucking play the game. I mean, shit. I'm not trying to get preferential treatment. I'm not trying to ask for anything. I don't need anything. Only thing I... I'm not even going to say one. Only thing I expect, I say expect, is just for people that follow us, like us, just continue to support us and help fight the charge, help lead the way, help get these games back on track, man, because, <laughs> like I said, I don't know. These, this shit is just rough. They play weird. And then back to the Gilmore note. He brought up a 
He brought up a good little video he made not too long ago. But you know what? It's great because, again, it highlights the tone, the totality, everything in between about what the fuck we have been saying since day one. Since day one. And before. Before all of us even met each other. Before I met Sirius. We already all were thinking the same shit. So you tell me. That's a coincidence. Or is that years and years upon knowledge of playing a fucking game that you know you're good at. Know you have been good at. And then you, you try to play some of these newer ones. Oh, all of a sudden you're just a burger? Even though that's not even... Let's be for real, not burger anyway, but the the game itself is burger. And sometimes you have to play burger-ish. Or do go away, like a fucking turtle. I don't know, man. Like, man. It's what it is, man. But anyway, I just want to throw a little rant, a little short video out there for y'all, man. We'll get some entertainment going in the streams. Fucking, I'll try not to doom. I can't be dooming and glooming. It's hard to play these... It's hard to play this shit sometimes, bro. And not lose your fucking shit. Like, you see some shit in the game, you just want to fucking flip the fuck out. But you know what? At the end of the day, when we come home and we're just playing these games, that's all it is. It's just a game. Now, when we go to these tournaments, that's different. There's money on the line. If you're going to play with grown men, money, time, effort and you don't think there's not gonna be any uh ninjas on your ass yeah you, nah no we're not easily duped we're not easily fooled been on this earth long way long enough to know when shit's bullshit this is what it is man yeah like i said appreciate y'all appreciate y'all hearing me rant man Let's bring all our communities together. The Sirius, the Beaver, the the Jeets, the Red Pill Nation. Oh, come on, man. We got to get this shit going. Hey, and come hop in these games with us. Shit. We ain't celebrities out here. Shit. Catch y'all on the flip. Metro Doomin' out. Peace.